Hey, howdy folks. I made this video just to want to show you what I found out about the differences between Gen 3 and Gen 2 Prius um, exhaust system. A couple of days ago, I saw news about a lot of the catalytic converter gotten stolen from um, Prius. And most of them seems like they are Gen 2 Priuses. Um, and on the news, they show that the the catalytic converter being cut out and a lot of the um, missing cats were found but I have a Gen 3 and I want to know if my Gen 3 is about the same as the Gen 2 is it more likely or about the same as being having the cat stolen so here you can see that immediately I went down to my car and take a look and there's nothing's covering it it's just bare metal showing all up like this. Um, I mean, everything is exposed. But what I found out is that this Gen 3 here has a lot more stuff than the Gen 2. So immediately there's um, like a kind of a muffler type hanger that, um, you know, hold the whole thing in place and this whole area. And then you see this little... Like a bottleneck thing and then besides that you got a line that goes all the way to the front right and then this bracket here um, and let's go over to the other side or what's on the end of the video or this whole thing so I thought this would also be the same thing as the Gen 2 but this is a slight difference the Gen 3 has some coolant um, in after the catalytic converter to, 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 to soak in the heat and bring it back to the front to the engine so it helps to warm up the engine faster so this line as I pointed earlier is going into the front into the engine so to cut out this whole section might be a little bit tough because all this weight and all the bracket here um, just make it a little bit more difficult if I were the thief, right? And I don't see much right in the front here. I got I think there's some shield here blocking whatever's up here. Um, but um, I so I went online and just kind of Google a bunch of pictures and try to find out what the, what are the differences between um, Gen two exhaust system and Gen three exhaust system, right? And it's very difficult to find these images. Not that many people took a you know, you know comparison picture, but I found on YouTube there is a guy or actually a muffler company um, company um, it's called muffler tech and they have a video that shows the differences side by side so let me get to that right now and here's the video but I took a screenshot first let's take a take a look at the screenshots so they have the gen 2 and a gen 3 side by side so here the bottom one is Gen 2 and the top one is Gen 3. As you can see, Gen 2 looks pretty simple. One, two, and three parts to it. And from the looks of it, if they lined up like this, that means that um, whatever I look underneath the car, what we saw earlier was up to here. And this whole thing looks heavy, right? Um, this seems easier, right? So most of the time, or most likely, from the news that I saw, they cut this part out. They don't meet that part because that, like, they call it the resonator, and they just unbolt this, these two bolts up in the front, and this whole thing is gone. This whole thing is gone. Whereas in the Gen Three, I don't know where you want to cut it, right? You cut it here, but this thing is still hold on to the bracket and all that stuff and you got these lines here that is connected to the um, coolant line right the coolant so it's messy right because if you cut that coolant it spool all over your face 
and this whole thing needs to be slide out and then the whole thing is gonna drop on your face <laughs> let alone this part now is just hold on by two bolts and then this thing is gonna drop so without much space and time it seems a bit more difficult to 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 cut out the catalytic cat catalytic converter from the Gen three, but you know if if the thief wants it, they would get to it, right? So here again, I found a picture of Gen two. Um, the cat is look at that, it's so clean. Oh, I don't want Bixby go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Whoa. Right, and so, God damn it, Bixby, clean. So, this whole thing easily cut, right? Easy, easy. And then I uh, found another picture of Gen Three, and you can see that they are shielding all this part. And I think that's when I look underneath, I only saw up to this part, right? So. It's, so it's very it seems like it's difficult to access stuff already without the shield but with the shield it's even worse you can't even slide and get inside or cut whatever here and you have no room so now how does it look like how does it look like stock without the shield then I found this picture but then I don't know if this picture has any covering removed um, if it doesn't, then it's not good. But as we, as I showed earlier in my video, I don't. It's hard to see this guy. I think there's something covering it, right? There's some black part that covered it, but I don't know. But even that, there's this stock shield, heat shield kind of thing. I guess because it's very hot, it's not like these plastic shields over here, right? So it's not gonna melt. So maybe there's no plastic shield here. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's like a metal shield here. I don't know. But if this is stock like this, then I would have seen it, right? We we would have seen it. Um, but definitely this whole part is heavy. Um, so at least we know it's not easy just to cut this thing out because all these bracket here and there's a line here it's gonna be a big mess and there's you have to shift this out left and right or maybe they, they get a big scissor some kind of cutter and they could also cut these rubber hanger thing but it will take them even more time right because you can reach one but you have to go to the other side to reach the other one so that takes even more time and then let alone then then well maybe where else can you cut right so if these are cut then you have to cut this and then the skinniest part is here right so you have to cut this so it's quite a lengthy job compared to gen 2 so what I'm trying to say is or what I found out is that it's still doable but it's not as likely as the gen 2 but just for a peace of mind I think I would go ahead and actually look into getting one of those um, shield that they have or even if I have time I can do a DIY but I think um, shield is good enough so let's go over to the video and let me show the video here a little bit I'm not going to play the video. I'm going to scroll over and show you guys the this 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 um, coolant line here. So the bracket is all welded and then you got these two coolant lines. So actually they are all on one side. They're not on just one side. I mean both sides are on one side only. So it's like one goes out, one goes in. Um, yeah. And so, um, then he talked about how one of the, the, the thief 
cut the um, cooling line and then right here oops right over here yeah you can see that the um, the pink coolant is dripping out already and you don't want to drive your car without coolant so for gen 3 owners if you wake up in the morning look underneath the car and you see a big puddle of pink coolant don't drive it if even if it's a pool of liquid check it out see if it's coolant don't drive it have it told um, but um, feel free to actually go over and and check out his video um, you can see the title the thing is that his title it make it also kind of difficult to tell if he's doing comparison between the two um, gen 2 versus gen 3 cat catalytic converter um, but he just try to tell people not to drive um, if you have a missing cat but um yeah go ahead and check out his video it's a uh, muffler tack and this is Colby um, he's explaining things very clearly and uh, I think um, they they their way of securing that muffler is pretty cool um, if you go all the way here they have separate videos for that so like you can see there's like one solid line soldered welded not soldered welded onto the the whole thing so makes it very difficult to get it out but anyway i hope this video is useful um feel free to comment and what you think about gen 2 versus gen 3 um and i hope this information is helpful for you and i think that's about it and um enjoy your day and i will see you next time goodbye